Hi, I'm Stephen Crony. Thanks again for your company. Um, this is a painting I did from a photograph. This was um, Kingsbury Water Park. You can actually look at the, the lakes either side there. We've got a path sort of snaking its way through the woods. Used a bit of neat um, lemon yellow straight out the tube for some of the foliage. Um, you've got big cast shadows coming across. Uh, they've got the sun over on the left hand side. So. Let me show you the photograph that I used. So this is the photograph I used and it's a winding path that runs alongside the lakes in Kingsby Water Park. So for us, let's have a quick look at the colours. So on my palette we've got Ultramarine, Lemon Yellow, Payne's Grey, Lizard Crimson, Rose Sienna, Burnt Umber, Light Red. I'm using the large one Rancinake, that's a 75mm wide one and 15 by 11 Fabriano. So another quick look at the uh, reference photo and let's get cracking. So I'm going to grab the big brush, get a bit of water on there, not too much, just wetting the paper all over. So I'm just taking a bit of raw sienna. Pop a bit of that on, all the way down to the bottom. Clean the brush, take the excess off. Bit of ultramarine, these will be the sky colours you can see just between the trees. Right, then we're gonna... Then I'm going to try and loosen up a little bit. Now, this is just sort of a sort of semi abstract sort of background. Put a bit of red in there as well. A massive colour, you can see. More yellow. Got a bit dirty, cleaning the brush. Back to a nice, clean yellow colour. That's coming in something like that. Push that in there. I'll put the path in later. Well, let's, get, let's switch to the uh, Riga brush. I'm just doing a bit of yellow, a bit of blue. Let's throw a bit of brown in there as well. A bit more water. And a few things we can see. And a lot of these will soften off as the paper dries. I'll put them on a bit stronger when the um, once the paper's dried a bit. And these are just things you can see in the distance. I'll paint over some of these, but it's just a massive, just a massive detail. I'm putting now while the paper's still wet. So now I'm just picking the paint up off the paper. That's why I'm not having to keep constantly reloading. It's just brown, blue. Some thicker ones there. Just pressing down a little bit more. Some big trees down there. Paper's still a little bit wet yet before putting the uh, the main sort of focal point trees. I'll see how it goes. Brown, blue, yellow. That's a few more in there like that. Just see a few things around the back there. This lot. I'm just giving red and yellow. A massive red on there. It's coming down quite low. Turn the 
brush. It's a bit of a yellow. It's a bit of a yellow on its own. That's a bit more on the foreground now, so I'm going to worry about too much about that one. Let's put this back in so I can see where we're working. So I'm just going to get a bit of red, a bit of blue, a little bit of brown in there as well. And the path is sort of up there and just sweeps around like that. Let's clean the brush. side as well there's some big big bushes on this side there put them I'll put them in a, in a bit not just yet I want to keep it fairly light because I want the shadows to show pretty well just push that right up right up to this path Right. Paper stretched a little bit, so I'm just going to pull it tight. Make sure it's flat against the board. And then I'll do some of those trees. Right, let's bang in some of those trees. I'm just going to soak that up across the bottom first. Right, a bit of brown, a bit of blue, a bit of yellow. Let's pop some of these in there. You see they're coming off a lot, lot stronger now. The, the strongest ones I'll probably put in with a height brush. And now we've just got a few little things going in here and there. Yeah, that, that is the. Uh, put this in first. Sienna in there as well, I think. We'll put that over some of that. That's what I might do. No, I'll leave that last. I might squeeze some just neat paint out, but I'll leave that till last. For now, I'll we'll just carry on like this, I think. Better quick dry. Just watching the green sort of drip down across the path. I didn't want it to come any further now, so I thought I'd dry it. Right now we've got some bushes. Um, of, uh, lemon yellow and ultramarine. The pine's grey as well, really darker then. It's also big.
a little bit of pine grind it's really dark and some of these sections. Well, and back to the bigger brush, bit of brown, bit of blue, just into that mix there, plenty of water. We've got a few leaves and things coming across there. Put the, uh, the branches in first and I'll put the leaves on afterwards. I might use some of that neat, neat paint. Let's just get all these twigs and things going around first. Things going around there. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do these. Put these strong trunks in now. I'm getting brown, blue. I'm gonna do it with a height brush now. These are gonna be the strongest of the tree trunks. Bit of brown, bit of blue, a bit of that green in there as well. Just enough water to keep all the airs together. Then have it all swishing around the palette. Now first, let's just strengthen some of this, want these a little bit stronger. Same sort of tone, that's stronger. See how this sort of pushing, pushing the, the fines of stuff further and further back now. This comes to the fore. Put a bit of uh, a few leaves on there in a bit. Um, strengthen some of these a little bit. Some of these in as well with the, with the brush, big brush. Right, I'm going to squeeze some, some lemon yellow out now, just use it straight out the uh, Straight out the tube. Just going to squeeze that water out of the big eye brush. So it's it's very really lightly damp. I'm just going to scuff it up a bit. Right, let's just take a bit of that on the corner. Like that. She's coming from over there like that. Just making up just a touch of ultramarine in there as well. Various. Bits of yellow. Just some bits of yellow in the reference picture around here as well. I 
want to get, get a few shadows in there and then come back back to the lighter the lighter bits in a minute let's just get some shadows in I just want to make sure this uh, paper's flat Right then, shadow. So I'm just gonna. I'm fairly strong. Not too much water. So a bit of brown, a bit of red, a bit of blue. I'm just gonna mix those. It's a sort of bluey grey mix. Something like that. So sort of the sun sort of over on this left hand side, so it's it's creating shadows. Something it fits in shadow here. Yeah. Something like that. And some of these are just putting it straight across like that. Shadows up in the trees. Oh, can you have a quick just that up first? Can you have a quick dry? Very little water because I don't want to dilute the paint. I just want to use it just straight, just straight out of the tube. Just dip in the corner of the brush in there like that. Oh, 
I think I'm going to stop now. Right, I'm going to switch to the little brush. I need a figure. I need a little figure. I'm just about to see someone, someone walking off around the corner. So I'm switching to the little brush. I don't normally put the figures right in the middle, but I'm, it's it's sort of where the path is. I think I have to go right. I'm going to put them right in the middle. So make sure I've got the tones too too dark. No, I just want to put it. Two people, just two people, I think. Make someone right up there, the bloke. It's a little couple walking there. Call that one finish. I'm not putting my hand in any more pines. Switch to the uh, other rigger brush, number three rigger. Oh, I'm just going to stick my name down there. I'll call this one finished though. So let's put a mount on it and see what it looks like. So we've got the finished paint in its mains. So if you see the uh, the photograph I was working from, I haven't changed things too much. The composition's about the same. Um, I probably haven't got the darks. Like they've got the dark bushes on this side, a bit on that side as well. I've kept them a little bit lighter this time. So looking at the, uh, you can just see a bit of blue sky in the background there. So I just put a little bit of ultramarine in just to see the sky between the trees. So we've got a nice sort of orangey reddy sort of tree in the middle there. So I'll put that in a bit of light red, a bit of uh, lemon yellow goes well mixed in amongst it. And then you can see just about see all the flicks of the some very very faint tree trunks in there in the, suggesting distance like this one here. And then you can see when I've used the height brush to put in the, the foreground one so I'll create that sense of depth. All this foliage, you can see use some big dollops of lemon yellow. More on this left hand side here, just to contrast against the darker sections. Also just use a, a sort of dry brush, just using the corner to prop them in, trying to get random shapes and patterns. See in our reference photograph, the sun sort of casting these shadows straight across the foreground path. So I just swept them straight across. Left the foreground light so the shadows would show up better. Um, straight across this path, which leads us up to our little figures there, a couple walking off into the woods. And then just try to use a, a very narrow brush there, just to put in these very narrow shadows there in the right right in the distance. Also see a little bit of rigor work there, it's just those tree trunks there and also all the red foliage. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoy that. Thanks uh, as always for your company. I hope, you, uh, hope your watercolours are going well. Don't forget to keep practising. Um, any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.